Alright, now, where the hell is, uh... Where the hell is he? Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on. Dude, I was ahead of you. You didn't give me any of that. Alright, so it's getting pretty dark in the game, uh, which really isn't going in my favor. Luckily, there's only three Mantis that I have to defend uh, Alligator Jack from. And after that, it's all smooth sailing from there. So, go over here. Get ready to fight some enemies. There we go. One less monster. Now he dies very frequently here. Uh, almost every time I've played this game, uh, he's died against those mantises. Luckily, not this time. So that's pretty much the end of the quest. One less monster around. Sake all the swamp meat. Now talk to Alligator Jack after he's finished looting the uh, monsters. You're a talented hunter. My goodness. If you continue like that, I'll be able to stay in camp next time. Here, take this swamp rat meat to lazy old Morgan. You'll find him in our camp. He's probably lounging on the beach somewhere. He'll be waiting for this. Henry usually guards the entrance to the camp and keeps a lookout for bandits. If he refuses to let you in, just tell him that I sent you. Maybe that will make him a bit more sociable. Henry is a little too eager and a bit bossy too. If you're right. looking for me, you'll usually find me near my camp in front of the Palisade. Palisades? Just continue west from here and you'll see what I mean. All right, so continue on here, and there's some desert rats. Let's kill them. Another desert rat, which doesn't want to kill me, but instead starts eating its own, which is cannibalism and is highly frowned upon. Use this pedestal and enter this. Uh, Teleporter, stone thingy. Now let's just use it again and talk to Medaria. I've activated another one of the teleporter stones. Give me the next focus. Of course. Here it is. Was it difficult? Depends on how you look at it. I could use a bit of support. I could give you some gold. Would that help? It couldn't hurt. Let's see. Here are a few gold coins. Oh, by the way, before I forget, Saturas would like to talk to you. You should see him as soon as possible. Alright, so let's go to Saturas. That's Reordian, never mind. So where the hell is Saturas? Okay, I'd rather sleep. Oh, wait, never mind. There he is. It is good you came. We have new discoveries that we must share with you. Then let's hear it. The sunken city once bore the name of Jarkandar. There were five rulers in the city who shared the power over their people. Each of these rulers had a mansion where he lived and kept his belongings. Therefore, in your search for the relics of the ancient culture, it is crucial that you should search through these mansions. Where should I look for these mansions? Riordan has studied the structure of the buildings in Jarkandar. He will tell you where you should look for the mansions. What if these mansions no longer exist? If you cannot find the houses, then they presumably sank with the city. However, should they still exist, they would be of inestimable value for our studies. All right. May Adenos protect you. Now let's just go to bed, sleep till it's daylight. Okay. Now the actual quest uh, with the mansions and the relics. It's pretty much the same quest, except uh, you just have to find the relics in the mansions, nothing too difficult. The only uh, difficult relic to find, however, would be in, um, wait, I'm, I'm confused how to complete the quest. 
I'm trying to remember. Oh, well, there's some relics in some of the mansions, but the hardest one will probably be in the canyon, because that place is completely surrounded by orcs, orc elites, and orc mages. So, yeah. Anyways, I just realized how stupid I was by doing that. Actually, no, I'm not, because I need to, um... Wait, which way am I going? What the hell is this? I'm not going the right way, am I? No. Okay, I, I want to go through here because there's some very interesting treasures to find around here. But after I clear out this area, then I'm just going to start using the actual uh, teleporter stones again. So, proceed over here. Nothing interesting so far. Still boring. And here should be a small cave. Yep, there we go. Now, be careful. If I remember correctly, there is a shadow beast here. And I haven't fought a shadow beast yet, but I will right now. So, kill off these uh, black goblins and goblin warriors. With their bodies, they might have some interesting stuff. Nothing, nothing there. there. Nothing there. And now, just take all of this. A ham. Some gin. Wolf skin. Another wolf skin. Dark mushroom. Alright, never mind. You get the point. So, continue over here. And here we have a Shadow Beast. Very tough enemy. Okay, I want to do this correctly. <laughs> Go behind it. Drink a health potion, just in case. Alright, perfect. And now, kill the bastard. Oh wow. Only two hits required we have with there. the master work to hand up. So take everything here. Right or oh, left right. oh my god, left, left, right, right, l right, 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 left, left, right, 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 left. There we go. Oh wow. Nice sum of gold. Take this potion. Uh, I think I've found Take something. this silver ring and find longsword. Nothing special about that treasure. Left, right. Right, left, left. Left, right, right, left, left, left. There we go. Alright, now let's go back to uh, the pirate camp, which we haven't been to yet, so I don't know why I'm saying that. So, let's see. Go here. Oh, gold ring, wow. Didn't see that. Boarding knife. Scroll. Alright. Go over here, Malcolm's still there, doing whatever the fuck he wants, as usual, because he's Malcolm and he's a badass. Take all of his belongings, plus cheese, cheese is great. Kill some meat bugs. Die, meat bug. Alright, and now. Head on over here. As you can see, that's uh, a castle. The problem with that castle is that it's inhabited by damn bandits, which is not good. So, I'm going to clear it out later in this episode. Maybe in the next episode, depending on how hungry I am, because I'm very hungry at the moment. So, let's talk to Henry. Halt, friend or foe. Friend. Anyone 
anyone can say that. I don't know you. What do you want here? I want in there. Really? That'll cost you, though. 500 gold pieces. Huh? For what? Don't make such a fuss. There's plenty of stuff here in camp that might interest you. And you look like someone who's got gold on him. So a small contribution is not gonna kill you? Or did you steal those posh rags of yours? Can't we come to an agreement somehow? Well, give me a good reason and I might make it cheaper for you. Malcolm sent me. He says the wood may take a while. Oh, great, I might have known. It's taken forever again. I'm supposed to bring Morgan this meat. Uh -huh. And who sent you? Alligator Jack. He says that Morgan is already waiting for it. I see. Not in the mood himself, is he? Let me in. Hmm. You brought me a message from our woodcutters. You want to play errand boy for Alligator Jack and bring the swamp rat meat to Morgan. 300 gold pieces. Or you just get lost. It's as simple as that. Good. Here's your gold. Thanks. Welcome to our camp. If you were planning to sign on with us, lad, you're out of luck. Only the captain decides who gets to sign on in here, and he took half the crew and went to sea after booty. But you can stay until he's back, provided you don't cause any trouble here. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I must see to it that these miserable wretches gets the palisade built in time. If they don't, Captain Greg will kick my ass all over the place. Also, I keep strangers from traipsing in here just like that. What are you building the palisade for? Well, we don't want to make it too easy for the bandits. Those bastards are getting more brazen all the time. They've been sneaking around our camp for days now, just like sharks after a shipwreck. Some of those good-for-nothings are holding up in the tower a little south of here. But that's only an advance party, I'm sure. If they're really stupid enough to mount an attack, we'll give them a welcome they won't forget. Why would the bandits attack you? Because there's war between them and us. What did you think? Everything was peachy at first. We brought them here, they marched right into their swamp and left us alone. But now, those bastards attack anyone who's not one of them. Heaven knows what's gotten into them. I reckon they may be after our boats. There's no other way to get out of here after all. You should ask Skip about this. He's been with him and barely got away with his life. He's got quite an interesting tale to tell. Greg's your boss? He sure is, and as Captain Greg to you, have I made myself clear. He's a great man. If you meet him, be careful not to get on the wrong side of him. He won't live long enough to regret it. He's not in the camp right now. Francis is in command for now. He sits in front of Greg's hut all day and goggles at us working. About those bandits in the tower. If you're planning to take them on all by yourself, forget it. I'll be sending two people from my raiding troop soon. Let them handle the bandits. I want to join your raiding troop. Well, welcome to my raiding troop then. One more fighter to help keep the bandits off our backs. Grab one of the boys and make short shrift of those bandits in the tower. Where exactly is that tower located? Set off from here and keep to the right. You'll find the tower on a small cliff there. Aye, aye, sir. All right, take. I'm gonna take this part. Hey, don't tell me you want me to come along and help you flat those bandits. You got it. Why don't you ask the guy who's manning the sword? I can't use all this stress. Alright, let's talk to the guy with the saw. Are you one of Henry's boys? No, I'm just sawing up this tree for entertainment. What's up? Did Henry tell you what you're supposed to do? Yes, 
I'm supposed to do in a few bandits for him. <laughs> 